Hi everyone, this is Diana Palm, The Love Witch. Today we're gonna to talk about the narcissist and empath journey and how you do not have to be a victim to it. Most of my clients are extremely empathic. They're sensitive, they're intuitive, they're loving individuals who have also experienced narcissistic partners in relationship. It's a huge pattern where the empath is with a narcissist. And I'd like to open up discussion for that here today. Here's what happens spiritually when an empath is with a narcissist. The empathic person shows up willing to give all this love and shower this attention on their partner because they're open, they're available, they're vulnerable, and they want love. They need love and they haven't received it. You see, often empaths are people that have been through a lot of hurt in their life a lot of rejection in their life. And this is what has caused them to become overgivers and extremely compassionate individuals. None of those are bad things. They're all beautiful qualities. But what they don't realize is that overgiving in love to get love back is what attracts the narcissist. The narcissist, on the other hand, is somebody who may manipulate and use the energy of the empath, who may take all their love without giving love back, who may actually demand more and more attention, more effort from the empath. They may be obstinate, bossy, controlling, or totally attention-seeking at all times to diminish their empath partner. Now, here's the thing. The narcissist actually is looking for the same exact thing that the empath is. The narcissist also has wounds from childhood. Most often, narcissists have been both rejected and abused, either emotionally, physically, mentally, or maybe all of the above. What the narcissist most wants is love. They wanna feel validated. They wanna feel important. They wanna feel recognized or special. It's coming from the exact same wound that the empath has. They're just acting it out in opposite ways, which creates the dynamic and the reason why why they're magnetized towards each other. The good news is you can heal the empath and narcissist connection by recognizing that both individuals carry the same wound but are acting it out in opposite ways. Recognizing this is really important because if both partners can recognize how they're showing up in relationship and recognize that they have the same wound to heal, they can actually cooperate better together and save the relationship. But this will require one thing and one thing only. The empath must love themselves enough to set up healthy boundaries with the narcissist, to know what is in their best interest, to be able to establish clear boundaries, to still be loving and giving within healthy boundaries for themselves, and to be able to love themselves enough to do that. It will also require the narcissist to do their inner healing work on any issues of rejection and abuse from earlier in their life so that they are not terrified of rejection and abandonment, but feel more whole and complete within themselves so that they can come to relationships more in balance with their partner. Many people want to point all their fingers at the narcissist. And yes, narcissists do get a bad rap. They do show up as the villain in relationships. But narcissists cannot thrive without an empath. If they don't have anyone to draw all the time and attention from, then they don't feel worthy and they don't feel important. So they will always seek another empath. And there's always gonna be another empath willing to give everything to the narcissist if they're unhealed and out of balance. Now, one or both parties can come into balance at any time and begin to have a healthier dynamic within the relationship, but it will require inner healing. When an empath and a narcissist decide to do their inner healing, they can come into balance and love each other. They can actually come in more whole and complete and provide a lot of love and compassion for each other, recognizing that they're the opposite of the same energy, the same wound. They're just acting it out differently. When a person realizes this, they can stop blaming the narcissist and the empath can stop feeling victimized by the energy of the narcissist. The empath has a lot more power in this dynamic than one would think. If the empath can shift their own perspective on feeling victimized by the narcissist, being taken advantage of, overgiving, not being listened to, and all of those 
victimizing stories, the energy of victimhood. When the empath realizes that they are not a victim, but that their soul chose to have this experience to grow, to grow stronger in self-love, to set up those healthy boundaries, they come into their power. An empath that comes into power is unstoppable. They have so much power and so much love to give, but it's really bringing that love energy into balance within themselves and in their own life that allows them to either shift the narcissist or to calibrate differently to a healthy, healed individual that never had the narcissistic tendencies. The empath needs to validate their self-love. While the narcissist has an intense need to be loved by another, they're the same energy. The empath and narcissist can be a challenging relationship dynamic, but it can happen and it can create a very fulfilling, loving relationship when both parties come into balance within themselves, when they both heal their inner wounds, learn to love themselves, and shift the energy dynamic in that relationship by both partners loving themselves. This balance can happen when both parties fill up on self-love and have a willingness to grow. Both can be healed through raising their own love vibration and healing those deep internal wounds. If your wounds are from childhood and they've created a lot of repetitive patterns in your relationship, then check out my private sessions where we can get in there and help you shift that paradigm for yourself, create a new opening in your experiences in relationship and in self-love and how you show up for yourself. My website is www.dianapalm.com. I do spiritual healing and subconscious reprogramming that rapidly helps you shift patterns in your life that have been causing you pain. If you can identify with being an empath, let me know that down in the comments below. And if you're showing up here as somebody who has narcissistic tendencies in relationship, let me know that down in the comments below too. There is help for both of you. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like down below, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to see you in the next video.